Hi everybody, I'm Chris and welcome to the party. Here at Do Space, we have dubbed September Maker's Month, which means we're going to continue our Take and Make series so you can enjoy some of these activities at home. Our project for today is constructing our very own straw rockets. Let's go ahead and launch into this, shall we? <laughs> Your Take and Make kit should include the following supplies. A set of triangular fins, a pencil head eraser, a straw, a paper clip, a craft stick, and a large rubber band. You're also going to need to grab these items from around your house. A roll of masking tape and a pair of scissors. Step one is to place our eraser on one end of the straw and secure it with a couple layers of tape. This is going to be the cone of our rocket. It'll help keep the straw from breaking or from damaging any items that it might hit. The only thing this eraser is going to be erasing is your enemies. Step two is to open up our paper clip so that it looks kind of like a J. Take that shorter leg and bend it further out. Now, you're gonna tape your paper clip so that that shorter leg is just behind the eraser head. This will be the part the rubber band attaches to, so feel free to adjust it as necessary. And now it's time to attach those fins. Go ahead and grab one of the triangles and add a piece of tape to either side. You're going to be attaching this towards the back of your rocket, making sure to leave about a half inch of straw at the end. And try your best to make the fins as straight as possible and have them evenly spaced apart. Go ahead and repeat this process with the other two fins and you'll be ready to roll. And now that our rocket is complete, we can move on to our slingshot. You can call me a regular menace. You know, like Dennis the Menace. From the comic strips. See, he was this kid who would bother his neighbor, Mr. Wilson, and he always had a slingshot in his back. Our next step involves our rubber band, craft stick, and some tape. Place a piece of tape on the end of the craft stick so about half of it is dangling off. Lay your rubber band atop the craft stick and double over it with that tape. And go ahead and put a few more layers of tape over this to ensure your rubber band doesn't snap off when you're pulling back your rocket. And now it's time for our test flight. Go ahead and take your rocket and thread the paper clip ending onto the rubber band. Make sure you're grabbing it by the little bit of straw that we left. Go ahead and hold your craft stick straight up and down, pull back and release. Houston, we have liftoff. Now make sure when you're using your straw rocket, you're not pointing it at family members, friends, beloved pets, priceless heirlooms. You're going to want to use it outside because these babies will fly up to 50 feet. You won't be able to see that in the comfort of your own home. And if you want to have more fun, try experimenting with different sizes and shapes of fins, uh, shortening the length of your straw. Honestly, the world is your oyster when you approach a problem with the mind of a maker. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Take and Make. Hope you had fun. We'll see you around. <laughs>